barbecue. Well, they're in there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. I've lost the bucket, so presumably that is what it's for. Hey, come on, give us a golden sea turtle. We saw you pry it out of that altar. You'll have to pry it from my no longer cold dead hand. The Chuck? Guy Brush, get out of here! These guys think I still have the artifact, and they are willing to kill to get it back! Okay, but Elaine wants me to tell you something. It'll have to wait, Guy Brush. I don't think these guys are gonna let me leave without giving them the artifact first. Okay, they've had time to make more models. They're like three of the same guy in the first episode. Um. Aha! Look! It's a golden summoning artifact! That's a gold parrot! Wrong! It's a pyrite parrot! It only looks gold, fool! You stupid enough to think we'd confuse a parrot with a sea turtle! It's me, Guybrush Streetwood, Whitey Pirate! Why must you ruin everything? Oh, yes, of course. I know what to do. More Vakalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace. Or maybe a barbecue? Uh, yeah, we're going to need to go back. Um... It's not hot enough yet, but we'll get the dial. Grilled parrot. Too bad this thing isn't hot. Yeah, I should have grabbed the dial anyway. Not sure how I did that. Um... Reason to pry that. Yeah, you do. I'm what are you talking about? Uh oh. If nobody saw it, it didn't happen. Fine, whatever. to the furnace. That is not the furnace. Now I'll find that place instantly. Uh, it's still better than mist. <laughs> In terms of fucking finding things. Uh... that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. Mmm, grilled parrot. Too bad this thing isn't hot. Whoa! Now that's a barbecue! Sorry, little guy. Good thing you're not actually alive. 
It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pyro. Well, that's unsettling. Ooh, melty. Ouch! Hot! Right, um... Ow! Even the controls are too hot to touch now. Oh, apparently we don't need that anymore. Right, we need to pour it into the shape. Took too long. Try this again. I don't want to cook that. I think it's a Vacalian barbecue. Hardened again. I can't move very far if I want to be able to pour it. Hmm. That golden sea turtle left quite an impression on this stone. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. The altar's got a couple of cracks now, but it survived the fall pretty well. Okay. Let's get the root correct. I'm assuming you pour it from the top. So down here. Yeah, okay. So left then right. Left then top even. Let's try this again. That worked. Boy, that's a long way down. I can see the broken altar down there. Guess I'm lucky I landed on top of it instead of the other way around. Well, it's taken me the entire game, but I do know my way around this island now. Counterfeit sea turtle artifact made from fool's gold. Hey, not bad. Good enough to fool the undiscerning pirate eye, anyway. 
Yeah, but LeChuck's gonna think you're giving away the real one as well. Is, is LeChuck immune to the pox? What was that about you saying you knew the way? I mean, a bit. There we go. Hey, look, over here, a completely real golden sea turtle artifact. That's impossible. I saw this guy take the artifact. We ain't going nowhere till he hands it over, or we take it from him. Man, these guys are a tough sell. I'm glad I went into pirating instead of becoming a traveling salesman like my guidance counselor suggested. Hey guys, look! He's got the summoning artifact right here! He's right! Grab it, men! Arr, let me at him! You will never! Arr, head. Give it here! Give it here! I got him! Ouch! Hold him down! I'll take you all off! <laughs> I got it! Ooh, that looks painful. Yar! <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to take on armies without blinking an eye. Now a handful of pox-stricken pirates can wrestle away the artifact? Ah, uh, don't beat yourself up, LeChuck. These guys did a good enough job. Besides, that turtle artifact they took was a fake. I still have the real one, nice and safe. Good thinking, lad. Where'd you learn to pull off a trick like that? That? Oh, I've been doing that kind of thing for years. In fact, I'm uh, kind of famous for it. <laughs> I bet you are, boy. Now, you said Elaine had something she wanted you to tell me. Elaine told me she wants you to go out to the beach and use the cannon to provide a distraction for the blockade while I sail out and rescue you. Ah, <laughs> didn't matter what. Are you sure that's what she said? Positive. We're buddies now, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Ha! Huh, I suppose you're right, Guybrush. I'll get right on it. Good luck, lad. Jerk. Not getting out of here this way. The blockade is too tight. The blockade is too well fortified here. Hmm, looks like I might be able to sneak through the blockade here. <laughs> See if you can handle this, boys. They're shooting at me! Why are they shooting at me? Aha! This must be the weak point in the blockade. Now all I need to do is quietly sail through and... Ah! Well, well, if it ain't a little pirate with a fancy coat what smells like bacon. <coughs> huh? Who's shooting at me? <coughs> Hoist your colors, you mangy sea dogs. Not one of you has the guts to sail out here and face me. Elaine, you're lucky I'm stuck in this blockade, you saucy female. Or I'd sail me ship right over you. Haha, <laughs> so long, suckers. It was nice chatting with you again, but I've got a merleader to save. Where'd he go? Did you let him through? Me? If you didn't notice, I'm a Oh, that was probably a puzzle. I missed it. Shooting blindly at a far-off island ain't exactly what I'd call busy, you sniveling spud scraper. Arr! Arr! 
Cool. Good to see you again, Captain Threepwood. I knew you'd find a way past the blockade. Surely you have a wondrous story to share about the ordeal. Good to see you too, Mr. Winslow, but there's no time for stories now. We gotta take down McGillicuddy and save the Merleader. Fantastic, sir. Just point out his location on the map, and we'll be on our way. I don't know... Kaboom! I never get tired of that. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow! I don't actually know where we... Oh, there he is. Let's get McGillicuddy! Aye, aye, sir! Tell me the ritual summoning words, or I'll plunge you into the icy blue! I will not let you summon the legendary sea creatures! You will not have a Spongia Grande! Fine! Let's see how long it takes you to drown with your head submerged in the sea! <laughs> It'll be a while. I can breathe underwater too, you know. Don't tell me what I know, you oversized anchovy! I don't need to know stuff! I've got the pox! Lower the mer leader! Aye, aye, Captain! Lowering the mer leader! Captain McGillicuddy! Prepare to be boarded and surrender the fish man. I don't think so, boy. The chieftain is gonna tell me exactly where to find the artifacts so I can get to a Sponger Grande or end up as seagull pickings among the rocks when I run aground. Don't worry about me. The captain has lost his ability to reason. He thinks he's going to drown me, a mer person. You must keep the summoning artifact safe, Guybrush! Guybrush? Threepwood! Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact! Uh, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Uh-oh. <laughs> You'll rue the day you cross paths with me, boy! Rue? Ha! I really gotta look up that word. Sink his ship! I'll deal with you later, Stickwood. I think old Finface here wants another dip in a drink. <laughs> here we go again. Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep anyway. Tell me. Prepare to meet your maker, McGillicuddy. Arr! Wow, nice shot. If I ever find the crewmen who let you through the blockade, I'm gonna maroon them on one of those deserted islands in the middle of the ocean! <sighs> Tell me, or I'll That's send the you to the bottom Recently of repaired. the ocean! Oh, oh, that'd be great! I need to pick up a few That's things a for dinner. Man. I'll clean it later. What are those ritual summoning words? You'll... Mr. Winslow. Aye, Captain. Got any tactical suggestions for taking down McGillicuddy? Well, the best solution would be if he sank his own vessel. You weren't a tactician on your previous ship, were you? Oh, no, sir. You think the Mer leader is okay? Seems fine. As long as McGillicuddy thinks drowning is an effective torture, the Mer leader is perfectly safe. Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. Hmm. It seems like we're allowed to leave. Tell me, or I'll send you to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that'd be great. I need to pick up a few things for dinner. You'll never get me to tell. <laughs> Ooh. Good one. If you don't tell me, I'll so drown you in a briny deep. Perfect. My gills were getting a little dry. Ah! You're testing me nerves, fish lips. Hey, 
Ugly. Arr. Are you usually that green, or did your mother cook dinner tonight? Shut your hole, hook boy. The mask. Good riddance, Freakwood. <laughs> I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. We'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicutty's ship. I know. I'll use the map. Okay. I'm assuming that was a mistake. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winston. Set sail for the jerkbait. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. Again. So I see. What can I get you? I need my mask repaired. Again. Again? Wow, twice in one day. Yeah, well, I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down McGillicuddy, but that guy is cannon happy. Oh, how heroic. I'll get right on it. That was fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. these trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Okay. I've got an idea. Uh, I think I have to replace the mast with a rubber tree. Of fallen trees. How do I get the rubber tree? Probably, possibly with guy brushes. Where did we find it? I cannot for the life of me remember where the rubber tree was. I thought they were all rubber. It'd have to be quite a prominent tree, wouldn't it? No, it was on one of the islands. So what I do like about these tails is that you can use it sort of experimentally. With the puzzles, I mean. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Onward to... I... Why did that to... cut me out there? Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. Was it Brillig that had the rubber tree? You! You! Shouldn't you guys be being tortured by McGillicuddy by now? When McGillicuddy finds out you slip past us to get through the blockade, he'll have our heads on a pike! 
I figure as long as we are dead anyway, we might as well dig up the golden artifact and run. Of course, now we can't find a blasted thing. I know we left it on this island. It has to be here somewhere. Hmm. It was brilliant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? <coughs> Long walk along the beach? Fine. Just stay where I can see you and don't even think of digging out here. That treasure is ours. <coughs> ours. Of course. I'd never stand in the way of a pirate and his treasure. doing over there hmm. well that's not gonna work hey, get away from there I think it only works on merfolk clamshell thingies I'm not grabbing that with my hook It'll tarnish it. How do I get this rubber tree? So yeah. Okay, we'll get them to do it. Was it over there? Go away, hook boy. We don't have time for you. Oh, come on. I thought we were friends. Especially after all the help I gave you guys earlier. So, can't find the treasure, huh? I know it's here. It's just, well, we reburied it so many times, I can't remember where we put it. Sounds like someone should have been a little more decisive. Maybe I can help. Um. By the tree. I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. What, you think I am? Some kind of backhoe? Do you know how hard it is to get through rubber tree roots? makes it the ideal place to bury a treasure. If you were a smart pirate, that's exactly where you would have buried it. I... you... Gah! There ain't nothing here! <coughs> Try the tree again? Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. Arr. I know that seems like a good idea, but it's not. Hmm. Tim Boing? Hey, what'd you do that for? You're messing up our hole. Sorry. Hmm. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. I think I've grown past the need to carry rubber trees in my pants. I'll just leave it here. Fine. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. I'll tell the merfolk person. Twas Brillig was where I left Welcome the back, tree. Sir. Thank uh, you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Again. So I see. What can I get you? These trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger.
I guess we have to break our mast first. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Straight on to McGillicuddy's ship. Yes, sir. Shove off, Scruffy. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep anyway. Tell me, or I'll send you to the bottom of the ocean. Hey, McGillicuddy. Free wood. McGillicuddy? You're so weak, it's more like McGillaputty. Oh, so that's how you want to play, eh? Blast and buffer! <laughs> you know, sir, I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again. I really don't, but... I feel it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking uh, in the first place. Yes, I know. Just my two pieces of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. I'll get the map. But I needed to break it this time. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. I'm gonna Let's save my game. Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Uh, which it, it has done for me, but I'm going to do it myself. I want to replace it with a rubber tree and not a normal tree. We are in Cardinal Sin territory here, uh, specifically when you know the solution to the puzzle, but the headache is just doing the solution to the puzzle. Although that's more of a big sin when it comes to sort of putting, you know, point and click games. The, the journey is a part of it, but still. Me again? So I see. What can I get you? I'm gonna need another mast replacement, and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah? I'll go check it out. Hey, you were right. Never used a rubber tree for a mast before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. Excellent. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. He looks very determined, as am I. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. You best mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I go, Captain. Why do you keep bothering me? So, before that. Is there just a. That's where a, I sleep a anyway. Ball just Tell me. Floating in the middle of night. Yeah, there is. Okay, fair enough. Just wanted to confirm that. Ugly. Arr. I've seen a lot of pirates missing a lot of body parts, but you're the first one I've seen with a peg brain. Grr! You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time, kelp sucker. Give me your best shot. No! My ship! Damn you, Sweetwood! It's me, Guybrush Streetwood. Why did I shut Shut! Up! Shut! Up. That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader! 
Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vecalians are in your debt. We just now killed a guy. Go home. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> the map, sir. The what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood, on behalf of the Mer people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. I return to you in its former glorious state, your prized pirate parrot of Petaluma. <laughs> it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty pirate. pirate, I know. Thanks. If there is anything else we can offer you, yeah, we need the words. Feel free to ask. Your thanks is enough. <laughs> and, and your gold. Give us all your gold. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. Can I have a cookie? You cannot. Oh, I'm sorry. May I have a cookie? You may not. Cookie? No. Cookie? No. You wouldn't happen to know what the secret of Monkey Island is, would you? I know what the secret of Donkey Island is, if that helps. Ooh, no! You wouldn't happen to know. I know what the secret. Ooh. Actually, there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a Sponge Grande to fix that. Especially now. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of... <laughs> oh, excuse me. I have the artifact. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You, Guybrush, are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words. Just dump him in the water. Take this and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea. Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Ha, ha, ha. You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are the ceremonial ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood, and good luck in your journey. Well, that's that. Uh, come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. Wait. I just need to check up on LeChuck and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. <sighs> I'm starting to think LeChuck was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. Yeah, I also quite like the idea of the human, the Chuck. I think I said that before. Um, it's better than this sort of weird escalation. Back, Captain. Which clearly stopped in the fourth game because they couldn't think of anywhere to take her. Uh, I think we're just going out to sea. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow.
Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Oh, uh, we all already there. I feel like Rome makes sense. It's not been used for very much. I don't know where to go. Um... The Merleader smooshed all the artifacts into a ball. I'm supposed to throw it into the ocean to call the legendary sea creatures. Yeah, but I don't know which particular place I need to do that for. These summoning artifacts are too important to mess around. Or can I put it into this? There's a floating ball here as well. These summoning artifacts are too important. Right, I... This doesn't even seem like a puzzle. How do I throw it in the sea? Come and get it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Whoa. Creepy. Captain Threepwood. Ah. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush? Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I got a wife to go home and snuggle with. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us Bonnie Grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on the Chuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Elaine, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear, and don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, uh, the map? Again with the map? I like the map. Forget about the map, just go. I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad. Just go. All right, all right, I'm going. To Esponja Grande. Yay. Did we do this in three hours then? Or was there more? Is there like a final bit? Are we almost there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Threepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. It makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You again? Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Ha! Huh. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. 
I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. Uh, Captain, uh, something's happening to the sea creatures. Mm, not really keen on the condescension there, but... Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me. Looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Ugh. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Humanity! Oh, it's humanity! I guess this is where we'll meet, uh, Dukava. There we go! We did it an hour faster than last time. Excellent! The Lair of the Leviathan. Well... I've been the Johnstruct. I've been having a, a Tales of Monkey Island Chapter 2 The Siege of Spinnakay Adventure. Thank you very much for watching. Kind of wish that was in the middle there. Sort of off center, it's kind of annoying. Von Gilbert was the visiting professor of monkeyology. So I'm told. If I click off screen and try and adjust it, the screen will close. But, um. But yeah. But less than three hours, because it. Uh, uh, my stream time says three hours, but I was faffing for ten minutes before we started. There might be an extra scene afterwards, though. Don't think of it as that wouldn't really make any sense. But yeah. So I guess they made these after the Simon Maxes. The Simon Maxes got really repetitive after a while. The Telltale ones. And I think I went into this and I saw, like, that guy, like, there were three models that looked identical to him. Uh, and I just felt like it was too similar to Sam, Simon Max. And I just never played anymore. And I don't know why, I, I really enjoyed this. It's not perfect, but what is? Yeah, see me next time. Episode 3. In the meantime, we'll sit here, wait for this uh, credit screen to roll. Let's uh, jumble up the snails as well. Yeah, some more interesting snails should come out now. That snail's not too sure. Yeah, so LeChuck is uh, Kevin Blackton in this one. Fine, thank you for joining me. Craig Rowe, 1988. I believe after I end the stream, I'll move all the equipment over there so I can finish, what's it called? Uh, Star Ocean till the end of time. But that'll be tomorrow, because it's like 1 a.m. I ain't doing that in one hour. It's very surprising now. These screens are, the otters! 
I'm going to check to see if it says and you at the end. Yeah! <laughs> and there's all the pets. I like them when they have human names. There we go. Just see if there's any uh, extra scene. I don't think there will be. Thank you very much for watching. Farewell.